hey guys welcome back to another video so in the previous video I have shown how you can create a, a AG grid completely from the start and today I'm going to show you based on the selections how you will get the exact row grid data and how you can delete the data so this one already I have implemented so this is not a multiple selection delete so multiple selection is like uh, whatever I have implemented same thing you can do so that will be not a much more logical okay so once we select all so still it is disable once I select it will get enable once I do as a delete the row will get deleted right so let's come to the code first in the TS what we will do so we know that we have a data in the this dot row data okay now you come here and see what is this char grid API okay here already we have defined as a private class for this one we are taking the data from the grid API so grid API is like default for the whatever the grid we are using so it will hold the, all the data okay so in that we will have a all the details okay and that we are calling on the on grid ready so this on grid ready if you will see I have called initially this one I have not utilized anywhere but it will get called once you have a data okay so if it is not having then if you'll go to HTML so we have a grid options row data column definitions and on grid ready so initially once the grid is getting ready so it will get a call to this method here where it is this one okay so once it will get called so we will have a column fit size hidden overlay hide overlay and refreshing the ag grid so it will hold the raw data and all okay so based on this if i'll go here so what i suppose to do here is if i'll on the inspect element to show you See, once you will uh, go to the outer of the uh, inspect element once you'll hover on it so it will get trigger automatically since the grid is ready so it will target automatically <coughs> in the char grid api we will ho hold the all the data okay so let me go to the console this dot char create api characters let me expand this so we will have many things over here okay so for now we will go for whatever we need dot get selected See here we will get a get selected rows okay this is the function and then we will check the length of it correct so in from these functions we will get a some length over here okay dot length if I enter so here you can see the length is 0 correct because we have not selected it so let me stop it again and let me select this one once I will enable the debugger again it will target automatically so now if I see here in the console we having a length of 0 correct now it's got returned so we will have a data as a 1 correct here we can see if you want to check null so you can check it out like this 
okay so now we have a the value of 1 so if it is 1 so this is written it will written as a true so if I'll go to the code in the HTML what I did here if it is true uh, if it is false then it will go for this button okay so let me remove this note so if I'll go to the UI now here you can see the two buttons will be there and that will be invisible one will be inv invisible and see this is the disabled one and this is the unable one okay so this is coming how because of this this one so what I will do now for this one we are alternately we are looking for one time unable one time disable so this will get switched automatically okay so now if I'll go here so here we can see once we select this data so this button is getting unable so according to this one here it will if the length of it is one so it will return as a true so if it is true then it will go for this button right and this is false then it will go for disabled so initially this unable or disabled I have initialized as a false here I have declared as a false and here you can see if it is more than zero or something greater than one so it will go for true so this is how, how now we will come to here so what I do for the delete rows if I will go here so this is not a hard delete this is like just for understanding purpose ok what I did here is we will get the get selected rows over here from the grid API so from here we will get the length of it similarly whatever we get for this one so once we will say that ok the length is greater than 0 then this will apply the transactions for this selected row so let's come to here the code ok already debugger is there so let me click on delete now once I clicked ok debugger is there let me delete it again so now here you can see once I will go for the next here we will have a length so in this selected rows so you will get all the data correct so for example the ID email phone number and skills username correct so if the length is uh, this grid length is 1 so it will go for it so either we can check equal equal to 1 because see logically if you will see here we are not allowing to do as a multiple as I said there is a something which I made it for single if I apply length is greater than 0 so it is looks like as a we are trying to delete all the data it is possible if it is more than 0 so if I show to here in the selected rows here already we have handled that if it is length is 1 then we will enable it ok so if you don't want so you can put like that for example in your case greater than 0 so it will be enable for all the cases ok similar whatever we have did for this one so it will go for this one as well so now I think it should work no so what I will do for so purpose I will type it like this ok so now I updated it so here you can see once we will select why see once the grid is get load here you can see it is getting triggered correct let me go continue now here one row second row you have understand right 
so based on that if I'll try to delete it will delete both the row if I'll try this two it will get delete these two I hope you have understand so now we'll go for the exact selections for the length one and else what we can do here is we, we, we can check like this as well that is also valid if you will type more than two or three something like that it's not gonna work right if you're going to check directly straight away the length equal equal to one so both the side you are okay with the code instead of doing this one already in the parent i have disabled it right let me disable these all are where it is going how much debugger i get so now if i select more than two no more than one so it will get disabled right so I think you have understand the requirement there is no much more logic over here only you have to go through this this selected rows if you found then make as the enable or disable if you want to apply as a logical you want to delete something limited data so you can allow to the user if you don't want you want to make as all delete so no need of this method as well okay directly you go for this one so it will go and delete all the record based on the user selections over here so they can select all or they can try only one if you they if they want if you want to make as a only one so you can apply this logic to handle it or else from here also you can control it so if you'll handle only for this reason so the user will get confused whether we want to delete all the data why the all the data is not so which i did uh, actually i did for enable or disable to this this button right so that will be the user uh, easiest understand i think you have uh, understood if any queries you have let me know so definitely i will help you out on this Thank you so much for this video. Bye bye. Take care.